You may be spending time doing things that's not going to help you towards your business goals. You may find that maybe you're not well organized or perhaps you're spending time on things that really don't matter in the bigger scheme of things. Today, once again, we're going to learn from Marcus. He's going to talk to us about one good time management tip. So hi, Marcus. Can you uh, recall who you are and who you serve? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'm Marcus Chan, a founder of Bentley Consulting Group. We help sales professionals, entrepreneurs, and business absolutely crush it in sales. Awesome. What is your time management tip today? Yeah, so today's tip is very simple, right? So most people already have a calendar, but if they are using Outlook, color code what you have in your calendar based in different, different buckets. So for example, if you have, say, if you're a, a sales professional, you may color code your appointments, right? If you are a business owner, maybe you're color coding your meetings with your employees. But this way, at a quick glance, you could take a look at your calendar and know where are you spending your time every single week and adjust accordingly. Okay, but why, why would people do that? I, I'm sure some people are going to push back on that idea. I don't want my calendar to be a mess with like all these colors. Mm -hmm. uh, so why would people actually do that? Yeah, great question, right? And I'm, I'm a very simple guy. And I'm also very visual. So when you take a look at your calendar and when you can bucket them into key core things for your business, you may uncover, you may be spending time doing things that's not going to help you towards your business goals. You may find that maybe you're not well organized or perhaps you're spending time on things that really don't matter in the bigger scheme of things. So by having the power of the visual reminder to look, it allows you to make better decisions for the future for how you plan out your week. Yeah, I love it. I really love it uh, because that's an exercise I did recently with one of my clients. We break down all the goals that she had uh, for her business and her personal life and we color coded the goals. And then we mapped, we looked at the calendar and color coded the, 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 all the meetings she had and all the time she was spending with the same color code at these goals. And we could see that so much time were not aligned to these goals. So I'm it. That's, that's, a, that's an awesome exercise to do. Uh, so, okay, knowledge is good, but action is always better. So what's your recommended action? Hmm. So step one, you know, break, take a look at your existing calendar and just break down, you know, four to five key categories you want to lump your calendar into. And that's step one. And then from there, you can go and color code accordingly and take action after that. Okay, awesome. I really love this tip. I think it's a great one. Before closing, I want you to say something in French. You know, All right. We. Oui. <laughs> Straight to the point, efficient, right? You don't beat around the bush. I do things. <laughs> Thank you so much, Marcus, for, for your time. Hey guys, merci. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, just put a thumbs up. That would go a long way. And if you like this new bite-sized productivity series, short videos coming your way, no fluff, straight to the point, exactly what you need to reclaim your time back and be more productive, you can watch more episodes from this series. And if you haven't subscribed yet, you know what to do. Au revoir.